it's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Good morning to you. Glad that you're with us. It's a beautiful day today. I know the folks at the YMCA are hoping to get a lot of beautiful days like this when they go camping. Summer camp is coming up, and uh, we're here to talk about it this morning with Stephanie Brady and Tyler Fickle. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted Best Personal Injury Law Firm in the Best of Indiana County Contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Morning, guys. Good morning. morning. It's good to have you both with us here today as we uh, we talk about summer camp with the YMCA. Um, I remember talking with Eric Neal about this earlier this month and um, how important this program is for families and for kids. It's it's really going to be a big time, isn't it? Yes. So camp is super, I believe strongly in camp. I've worked my whole career in camping. Mm -hmm. And camp is great for our families because it does provide childcare for the parents who are working. And it also gives kids a chance to experience stuff that they might not get to. So. And they get to interact with kids from all different ages and different schools and form friendships and yeah. a bunch of fun activities. Yeah. So let's talk about who you're targeting for camp and, and, and where, because uh, there, we're talking two locations, right? Yes. Uh, you want to take that? Okay. So our age group for our campers are kids who have finished kindergarten, who are going into first grade, mm-hmm. and our LIT programs up to kids going into ninth or tenth grade. Okay. And then we are we have a camp here in Indiana at Mac Park. Um, and then we also are super excited. We're launching our summer camp program in Purchase Line this summer. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that starts in July. It's going to be July eighth through so August twenty sixth. No, August sixteenth. Sorry, mm-hmm. and that's for elementary campers and early middle school campers. Okay, so the camp at Purchase Line is going to be where? At, at Plum? No, Plum Global Church. Oh, okay. Right by the elementary mm-hmm. school. Yeah. So we're super excited. Pastor Ray and the congregation have really opened up their church for us yeah. to use. So. Yeah, that's right, along 286. So yeah. that's, that's not hard to find at all. Nope, and it'll be perfect for those living out in that community. You don't have to drive the whole way to Indiana to drop your kids off for camp. Yeah, yeah. So, Tyler, what are we talking about with camp? What are some of the things that kids will be doing? We have lots of fun games, camp activities, uh, team-building activities, just things to get them out of their shell and uh, learn a lot and have fun, of course. Did you use the word camptivities? I did. I like that. I've, I've never <laughs> heard that term before. Camptivities. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. Um, and, you know, for kids, of course, uh, of, of different age groups, that will involve different types of activities, too. Right. Um, the older kids will gain more of like a leadership role and try to help the younger groups. And the younger kids will think of it more as like having fun and uh, learning also. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow in times you have to sneak that learning part in. <laughs> you right. do. Yes. Yeah. And the, you, you'll end, they'll end camp learning a bunch that they didn't realize. Like yeah. this year we have different themes for every week. And so they're going to learn like one week is transportation exploration where they get to learn all about different modes of transportation. And mm-hmm. then we're going to Allegheny Portage National Historic Site. So they'll get to learn about the trains there and how it fits into Pennsylvania and uh-huh. all the history of it. Oh, that's nice. Yep. That's nice. So you you actually get to take some field trips, huh? Yeah, I think we're going on eight field trips this summer. Eight I field think. trips? Seven or eight, but I'm pretty sure. Where are you going? We're going to the zoo. Okay. And then we're going to Yellow Creek. We're really excited about that one. Uh-huh. And then the Science Center. We're going to the Drake Well. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we're going to... That's Fernando County, isn't yep, it? Yep. We're taking a trip up there. Uh-huh. So, And then we're going to the Allegheny Porch site that I talked about. And then we're going to the, the History Museum also. Mm-hmm. So we're yeah. pretty excited about all those different ones. So, Tyler, you're going to be on a bus with these kids going to... Uh... Uh, to all over Western Pennsylvania, <laughs> huh? Yep, I will be. <laughs> Are you able to do that? Are you? I mean, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Head, headphones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you pretty much have to. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so what's the uh, the arrangement for the kids? How you know when does the day begin? Uh, when do their breaks? Uh, you know, lunch break and things of that nature. How's that all work? Yeah. Oh, do you want to talk about? It? Yeah, they'll start. Arriving in like seven thirty, eight o'clock, and then the first activities will begin um, swimming throughout the day, uh, depending on the group, and then lunch uh, twelve to two. Like depending on which group, it'll change. Um, lots of activities after that, of course, and then 
they leave like five five thirty around there yeah yeah and in between they'll get their lunch and probably a snack and yeah right. of that nature and then we work with our fitness director to do why wellness mm-hmm. so each day our her her and her intern will come and lead fitness activities that they build upon throughout the summer yeah so they'll yeah. get to do that and then we have a reading specialist Becky, who she comes in and does um, reading games every day with each group. Mm -hmm. And then we do a reading competition. So each Mm -hmm. group gets to see how many pages they can read at their age appropriate level. And they get prizes and rewards and we celebrate big reading. So we want to make sure we continue. There's no learning loss there. How are we getting kids signed up? How do you do that? Okay. So they can either call the Y Stop by the Y or do it online for the Indiana camp. For the purchase line camp in the elementary school, we sent home applications with every kid. Mm -hmm. Or they can contact me at the Y and we'll get them registered. Uh huh. Uh huh. And and are there no geographic limitations for either of the camps? Correct. No. Yeah. yeah. No. So anywhere you can drive, like we have kids (laughs) at the Indiana camp who live out towards Penns Manor, Marion Center. That way, their parents work in Indiana. So. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then that's what's nice about our drop off. We have about an hour and a half drop off window, so it fit, can fit parents' yeah. working schedule. Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds like a t- it's a terrific time for the kids. Keeps them occupied. Keeps them uh, off of their screens. We always <laughs> talk about screen time, and and we know that they covet that. And uh, camp is unplugged, so we yeah. don't like maybe if it's a super rainy week, we'll watch a group movie together. But other than that, we're all present in person with each other. Yeah. Yeah, actual human contact. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that's 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 tough these days. Isn't it is. It, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's tough finding you know the the time to do it as you get older, uh, and so teaching the kids how to do that, uh, how to be social around mm-hmm. each other mm-hmm. uh, when they're younger. They've just come off a of school year, so they're used to that anyway. But and Tyler's playing some really good team building activities with the kids, and like low course type activities with them to really help build that interpersonal How do you skills. do that, um, I've There's multiple team building games. We're going to have them make a, uh, like a team chant that they're going to use each week, uh, team flag. And then like you, that, with that team, they're going to keep building upon that with different games, like uh, just like normal capture the flag, stuff like that. And then we have games like the beach ball game where they throw it around and there's different uh, questions on there and they answer them. And, yeah. If they catch it, they can answer multiple if they want to, you know, stuff like that. Keeping them active. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Yes. That's the thing. Well, wonderful. I'm glad that uh, you give this opportunity to folks. People will wonder, how much does it cost me to go to YMCA camp? I should have memorized that. So we have different <laughs> price points. Um, our website has it, or you can call the Y. But if you're a Y member, you have a Y member discount. Uh-huh. And then if you have a youth membership with the Y, a little bit more than non-members is a little bit more okay and our camp at purchase line is part of our launch for our big hearts little hands mentoring program Mm -hmm. and if they join in purchase this is for purchase line if they join the mentoring program it's free for camp for the summer nice all right so there are some great things kids can do with the why this summer hey thanks both for coming in and telling us about it we appreciate that thank you for having us It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com. 22 minutes after 9 o'clock and it's a a Thursday morning. This afternoon, Pirates baseball begins 12-10, 12-35 is first pitch uh, on uh, WCCS. It'll be Paul Skeens on the mound for the Pirates against the Giants. And Homer Center baseball on Renda Digital TV today, the Wildcats and West Branch. Uh, playing in the District 6 AA semifinals. You win today. Not only do you get a chance to play for the District 6 championship, you also make it automatically into the state tournament. That's big doings. 22 minutes after 9 right now. It's Indiana in the morning on WCCS. And Aaron Rial is here.